Gittleman Syndrome, Wikipedia Audio Gittleman Syndrome is an autosomal recessive kidney disorder characterized by low blood levels of potassium and magnesium, decreased excretion of calcium in the urine, and elevated blood pH. The disorder is caused by genetic mutations resulting in improper function of the thiazide-sensitive sodium chloride symporter located in the distal convoluted tubule of the kidney. This symporter is a channel responsible for the transport of multiple electrolytes such as sodium, chloride, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. Gittleman syndrome was formerly considered a subset of Barter syndrome until the distinct genetic and molecular bases of these disorders were identified. Barter syndrome is also an autosomal recessive hypokalemic metabolic alkalosis but it derives from a mutation to the NKCC2 found in the thick ascending limb of the loop of Henel. Affected individuals may not have symptoms in some cases. Symptomatic individuals present with symptoms identical to those of patients who are on thiazide diuretics, given that the affected transporter is the exact target of thiazides. Signs and Symptoms Clinical signs of Gittleman syndrome include a high blood pH in combination with low levels of chloride, potassium, and magnesium in the blood and decreased calcium excretion in the urine. In contrast to people with Gordon's syndrome, those affected by Gittleman syndrome generally have low or normal blood pressure. Individuals affected by Gittleman syndrome often complain of severe muscle cramps or weakness numbness, thirst, waking up at night to urinate, salt cravings, abnormal sensations, chondrocalcinosis, or weakness expressed as extreme fatigue or irritability. More severe symptoms such as seizures, tetany, and paralysis have been reported. Abnormal heart rhythms and a prolonged QT interval can be detected on electrocardiogram and cases of sudden cardiac death have been reported due to low potassium levels. Phenotypic variations observed among patients probably result from differences in their genetic background and may depend on which particular amino acid in the NCCT protein has been mutated. Most Gittleman syndrome cases are linked to inactivating mutations in the SLC12A3 gene resulting in a loss of function of the encoded thiazide-sensitive sodium chloride CO transporter. This genetic mutation in the SLC12A3 is present in 80% of adults with Gittleman syndrome. More than 180 mutations of this transporter protein have been described. This cell membrane protein participates in the control of ion homeostasis at the distal convoluted tubule portion of the nephron. Loss of this transporter also has the indirect effect of increasing calcium reabsorption in a transcellular fashion. This has been suggested to be the result of a putative basolateral NACA exchanger and apical calcium channel. Gittleman Syndrome Online Patient Resource, The Barter Site When the sodium chloride co-transporter is inactivated, continued action of the basolateral Na plus K plus ADPase creates a favorable sodium gradient across the basolateral membrane. This increases the reabsorption of divalent cations by secondary active transport. It is currently unknown why calcium reabsorption is increased while magnesium absorption is decreased, leading to a low level of magnesium in the blood. Gittleman syndrome is genetically inherited in an autosomal recessive manner, one defective allele has to be inherited from each parent. Most asymptomatic individuals with Gittleman syndrome can be monitored without medical treatment. Potassium and magnesium supplementation to normalize low blood levels of potassium and magnesium is the mainstay of treatment. Large doses of potassium and magnesium are often necessary to adequately replace the electrolytes lost in the urine. 
Diarrhea is a common side effect of oral magnesium which can make oral replacement difficult but dividing the dose to three to four times a day is better tolerated. Severe deficits of potassium and magnesium require intravenous replacement. If low blood potassium levels are not sufficiently replaced with oral replacement, aldosterone antagonists or epithelial sodium channel blockers such as amyloride can be used to decrease urinary wasting of potassium. Gittleman syndrome is estimated to have a prevalence of 1 in 40,000 people. The disorder is named for Hillel J. Gittleman, an American nephrologist working at University of North Carolina School of Medicine. He first described it in 1966, after observing a pair of sisters with the disorder. He and his colleagues later cloned the gene responsible. Cause Diagnosis Treatment Epidemiology History